you can't really grow much that you can eat on a living roof. Like a living roof is kind of again, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a catchy green tech thing that architects love, because mm -hmm. it sounds really cool, it seems really eco, seems really groovy, but there's actually a lot of glitches to still be worked out in the design. It'd be like buying one of the latest models of the newfangled computer or car, and then you find out in five years that that first version was really a bomb because they hadn't actually figured out all the glitches yet and you should have waited three years or five years to have bought one of that new version. That's where living roofs are right now. They're a newfangled <laughs> thing that really has not been hammered out to actually be something that could just be uniformly applied. They have been hammered out to be able to be applied viably in places that are relatively warm and relatively urbanized. They make a lot of sense in those environments. But there are still things that I would rather do on a rooftop before I recommended putting in a living roof if I wanted to improve diversity, improve green space, and improve the opportunity for people to have food that they could eat in the city. So there I would be recommending more of containers that go around the edge of the roof. And the containers that go around the edge of the roof then offer you the ability to grow some small trees, to grow some small shrubs, to grow some vegetables. You're not going to grow trees and shrubs on a living roof. So where a living roof makes sense is in a building where you don't have residential and where you do have business and corporate activity and you only have daytime occupation. And what you're trying to do is increase the amount of green space overall in the city. So when you do a citywide analysis and you look at, for instance, I think living roofs would be a neat way to explore contiguous wildlife corridors in the city, would be to look at, so how do we create a little pathway <laughs> for these songbirds to go from point A to point B by connecting this corporate headquarters with this high-rise building, with this residential building, with this condo unit, with this apartment complex? So I think that that kind of application of them has a lot of potential. So I, I think they're really immediately a good idea in urban environments.